up you guys it's Mitch Bauer here I'm uh, gonna do a toolbox tour today basically what's uh, what's in my toolbox video I just figured I'd show y'all what's in my toolbox so I'm gonna go ahead and get into that now so basically this is my toolbox it's my grandpa's old craftsman toolbox basically got some tools in here dang it there we go and uh, basically it's got some pliers, some tin snips, no toolbox is complete without vice grips. This is an oil filter wrench. This is actually one of the best ones. Let's see what else. Bigger pair of vice grips, some channel locks, tape measure, wire, wire strippers. Box cutter. Torpedo level. And these drawers here. Got some, uh, got some snap ring pliers. Some metric Allen wrenches. Of course, the uh, standard Allen wrenches are right here on the top. Really need to organize this toolbox. Some red thread locker, some blue thread locker, a uh, valve stem core removal remover. This is a plier kit. Basically, a whole assortment of pliers. this drawer all my screwdrivers pretty much all of them this drawer what in the world a crappy wire brush that came with my welder when I got it tire irons adjustable wrench punches Right there. Razor blades, Boy Scout knife, not mine, it's my father's. I was never in Boy Scouts. Small screwdriver kit, one of them is actually missing. This is a rivet assortment set. And, um, voltmeter. And, um, a bunch of drill bits, motorcycle emergency tool kit, hole saw kit, hole saw kit, I'm sorry. We got C-clip assortment, spring assortment, anchors and screws assortment, my chemical shelf, which has nothing to do with tools, 12 inch level, or 3 foot level, I don't know, but anyways, um, Nut and bolt di magnetic dishes, some chainsaw files, and that is a angle grinder tool. And then down here is just a bunch of tools piled up on top of one another. And this is my socket assortment, assortment of sockets, assortment of Allen heads, grease gun, more tape measures, another grease gun. Caulk gun back there. This is a pry bar, machete, clamp, bunch of hammers, or three hammers rather. Oil funnels. And then over here, we have a welding like magnet, another adjustable wrench, wire brush, another screwdriver, which actually should be in that drawer over yonder. This is a matte gas blowtorch. You're wondering why the bottle is yellow and not blue. I use matte gas because it's a little bit more hotter and it works way better. Welder, generator, shop vac. I 
That's a project I'm working on for someone. It's a hyper tough weed eater. Walmart special. And then in this this tub right here is an assortment of tools. Basically, you gotta have the BFH. It's a good hammer. I've used this thing for a lot of stuff. But uh, in this container right here, we have a bunch of like different tools. Well, not tool, all tools, but this is a carburetor with manifold. Came off of a John Deere lawnmower. And then, I don't even know why these hand warmers are in here. Old pair of vice grips. Some wire. A whole bunch of just old wrenches and sockets. All in the bottom of this tote. That's a light bar connector. And then in this tote, we have basically a gun rack for a four wheeler, front rack, more hammers actually. Look at all this crap. It's a piece of a Looks like a intake manifold, maybe. I'm gonna put this up here so it don't get lost. This is a basically starter armature for like a Briggs and Stratton motor. Folding saw. Get all these hammers out here. These this is a, that's a copper hammer. A, uh, I don't even know what this is. It's like a coal chisel. Old, extremely old antique pair of tin snips, which actually need to be freed up. Breaker bar. I don't even know why that's in here. A really old square. Damn it. Old square. Big ass pipe wrench, which would be good for home defense. Like, I don't even think I'm going to ever use that thing. Another pair of needle nose pliers. A cylinder for like a leaf blower, a weed eater. Yeah, I know it's getting dark. We're losing daylight, guys. piece of a pull rope which actually can go in the trash some uh, hex head ends hot glue gun it's a uh, lug wrench like one of those factory ones This was my very first hammer I ever got as a child. I mean, look how small this thing is compared to a regular hammer. Yeah. Yeah, this hammer has been with me for a really long time. Let's see what I got in here. A spring, a really big rusty spring. Here's a half inch drive, which is actually pretty locked up. I'm going to get that freed up. Ratchet, Craftsman Ratchet. Yeah, it's pretty locked up. I'm going to have to see if I can. Oh, I actually think I got it freed up. Nope. There's an old Black & Decker adjustable wrench. Some uh, longboard wheels. A pulley. Sorry guys, it landed on my foot. Another tape measure. Oh well. There's a uh, blow gun for an air compressor. 
I don't even know what the heck this is. This was something of my my grandfather's. If any of y'all can tell me what this is, I'd be very appreciative. It's got a point on one end, and then it's got like a uh, flat tip screwdriver on the other end. If any of y'all can tell me what this is, I'd be I'd be very appreciative. Another pair of vice grips, a pair of pliers, another adjustment wrench. It's a piss a weed eater piston. Castle nut for like a CB axle and a four wheeler. Grease gun, straight grease gun in. I'm not gonna go through every little piece that's in here. I'm just gonna shut I'm just gonna pause this a minute and put all this stuff away. I'll be right back to you. All right, so now that, that that really concludes like this video, it's getting really dark outside, and I really want to kind of go. So let me adjust this camera real quick, though. Um, I know a lot of y'all would probably be like, "Oh, great, a tool video. Everyone has tools." Yes, everyone does have tools, but you never know. You may you may have seen something in this video that you that you didn't even know exists, and I want to see some of y'all post a video. A tool video for yourself and maybe I'll see some that I never knew existed but now I'm basically now this I'm gonna I'm gonna end, end this video with two tools that I love and two tools that I hate so first tool these wire cutters you can these are extremely uh, this is probably one of my favorites like you can base like so, so let's say if you have telephone wire I know you can't really see it let me see if I can get the flashlight closer but basically, you see this, those teeth right there. If you have like telephone wire or something like that, you can basically strip like three wires at the same time. It's very cool. And then it's got your crimper right there and then your cutters. Really recommend these. You can, I think I actually got these from Walmart. I don't know. And then this is my other favorite tool. This is a zip tie tool. Uh, I wish I had a zip tie right now to show y'all how this, let me see if I even have one. Hold on, just one second. All right, I'm back, found the zip tie. I'm just gonna basically grab something, and then I'm gonna show y'all how this thing works real quick. So basically, let me find something to wrap the zip tie around. So basically, I'll take this, it's a ext socket extension. You can basically wrap this thing around like this, run it through, run it through a little bit, and then you take your handy dandy zip tie tool. Y'all can't really see it because the lighting in here sucks. Let's see what I could do here. But anyways, you take it like this. And like I said, I know y'all can't see. Oh, kind of screwed up there, guys. Alright, so basically you take it like this, you can see the zip tie, watch closely, and I'm still doing it through the wrong side. Yeah. Oh, there we go, now we got it. Yep, and then... It's got a blade on it, so you don't have to grab a pair of snips when you're done. I may have showed this in a previous video, but I figured I'd show y'all because it's actually one of my favorite tools, and you can see it's like perfectly on there. All right, now I'm gonna go through two. Now I'm gonna go through two tools that I hate, and probably actually. So this, it's a crappy old crafts it's a craftsman screwdriver but the way this thing works you take this bit out like I just did you may have seen it but you just put it in there like that and you pull this out and then you push it out like this 
then you have the other bit. I mean, it seems cool, but I've only picked this thing up twice in my life, and it is I I, I just can't I just can't stand using this. Alright, so, next tool that I hate. These freaking channel locks. They are so... I hate using these dang things. Like, this, like these teeth right here are not really long enough. Sometimes the thing will freaking strip out. And you can't really... And they're uncomfortable to use. See, they're, they're just straight metal handles. And you have to use them like this to undo them only thing is they go out further than my channel locks but I wish my channel locks <laughs> would extend out this far but me <coughs> junk all right so that concludes today's videos video guys sorry it's sorry I had to use it sorry I had to make it at this hour but I've been home from work for an hour and I worked a little late today, so stay cool, stay with me. I know it's been probably a, been a while since I made a video, but I just got a text message. Okay, um, but I'll see you on the next video later.